um, I brought death with me today because it seemed Yay. fitting. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I am going to talk a wee bit about this before we get to the nonsense. Um, have you, the the freaking argument they're, that they're putting out these days about, you know what? You want a nice economy, right? Okay, so yeah. maybe maybe we kill grandma. Maybe right. we maybe we kill grandma. You know, your grandma you would like, want to die for the want, economy. Do you want your grandma or do you want your four hundred one k? Right. Dude, just you know, I mean, what if we kill grandma? I mean, I'm just saying it'd probably be good for the economy the, if we. Kill the grandma. patriotic thing would be to throw grandma on a wood chipper, so that the stock market can go back up. <sighs> Of course, someone's in the litter box right now. Of course, of course they are. I mean, yeah, like we're and they're legitimately starting to sell that. Like, oh yeah, you know, maybe we just need to let three percent of the population die. That's eleven million people. And the, the idea That's almost double the Holocaust. And then the idea that this is going to make things better. That that yeah, like that's going to improve the economy if yeah. we just let eleven million people cough to death. We're not going to know. It, they'll be fine. Just everybody will go back to work and nothing, none of this is happening and let yeah. somebody think about the money. Somebody and save the money. The cruise, and we'll bail out the cruise lines and everything's going to be fine, you guys. I cannot think of a single industry we need less than a floating night hotel. That all of them are registered in other countries anyway. Like the balls of them to come to the United States government and be like, we need money. Really? Where are your taxes? Oh, that's right. You're registered in the Caymans. Yeah. Go, go ask the Caymans to bail out yeah. your food. Oh. Maybe they'll help you. Yeah. We, we, who needs this? I mean, even if things weren't going to hell, who the fuck needs a floating hotel? A floating Petri dish hotel. We don't freaking need. Over. So yeah, it's it's a terrible time, and what terrible times do is reveal just how terrible people are. It can also reveal how wonderful people it are. Is, like, it there's is. There's a lot of people voluntarily making medical masks. Yeah. Like Christian Siriano has a bunch. He's a fashion designer. He has a bunch of sewers that can't work in his workshop right now. So he has them all making medical masks so he can keep paying them for work, which is great. You know, like, but yes, also the terribleness. Here in Denver, for a whopping two hours, we had pro we had prohibition. The mayor closed down, announced that all the liquor stores and marijuana dispensaries were going to have to close down because they're not essential businesses. Right. And then the -la -la. booze zombie apocalypse happened. Literally within minutes of his press conference, there were lines around the block at every liquor store in Denver. Like they were, they were having to have people man the door so they didn't have too many people inside at a time. It went in two hours before the mayor was like, okay, okay. As long as they obey social distancing, the liquor stores can stay open. <laughs> Just, it's, 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 it's strange that, that we, 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 uh, we don't kind of acknowledge that uh, our society is so screwed up that you need drugs yeah. to, to contend with it. That it is a require. That if people like cannot nobody get nobody wants to be going through this night over. Like if you cannot contend with our with the way the world works without drugs, there's a problem with the way the world works. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're we're gonna have a whole lot more of this. It's just gonna keep on going. Let's let's get Yay. that. Yeah. We're in it for the long haul, unless we're not, and then things will get way worse. Unless, unless we all die. Yeah. All right. Let's get that intro going. Hooray. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stories, and bring them back here for a little segment we like to call, What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And, um... Not really going to get too deep into this one, but just uh, a little holdover from last week. Uh, not long after uh, last week's episode went up, um, where we talked about um, archaeologists are terrible, and they need to stop. They're going to kill us all. Um, 
They've just, archaeologists have uncovered the first known temple to the flayed god. Cool, leave it alone. And the, while the flayed god, a lot of people are like, oh, well, if you sprout sacrifice and, and the harvest, and, yeah, you know what else the flayed god is, is the god of? Disease! Wait, really? Yes. Just leave it alone. Just put it, stop it! You're making it worse. Just everybody stop fucking digging. Right. And let us let us fix this shit. <sighs> fucking flayed God. What the hell? All right. So, um, I guess if you were flayed, you would be very susceptible to infection. Oh, yeah. This was 2019. Well, that makes sense that, that they, they did this. They did this to us. Fuckers. Fuckers. Um, so, uh, when I was young, and heck, even not so long, not so young, back, you know, 9-11, the hurricanes and stuff, used to be that uh, during a crisis, you could count on government officials to give you accurate information in order to help you out, continue on with your life. Oh, and man, um, remember that? Yeah, it was great. And, and that grand tradition... Um, a county commissioner in Florida, Okeechobee County, that's fun to say, uh, has some uh, good and useful advice for um, combating the disease. In fact, he might have solved this disease entirely. Uh, we might not have anything to worry about anymore. Um, one of the things, this is um, Commissioner Bryant Culpepper, quote says, one of the things that was pointed out in this interview, which was from One American News Network, which is Ugh. idiots. Trash. Which is yeah. the network they created because Fox wasn't state TV enough. Yeah. One of the things that was pointed out in this interview, one of the foremost doctors who has studied the coronavirus said that the nasal passages and nasal membranes are the coolest part of the body. That's why the virus tends like, to go there. Like coolest? Like the coolest part of the body, like temperature, not Fonzie. Is, oh, all right. So, uh, I so, thought he just had a fetish. I was hoping he just had a fetish. Okay, so this sounded really goofy, and it did to me too. But it works. Once the temperature reaches 136 degrees Fahrenheit, the virus falls apart; it disintegrates. I said, "How would you get the temperature up to 136 degrees?" The answer was, "You use a blow dryer." Hold a blow dryer up to your face and you inhale through your nose and it kills all the viruses in your nose. No. <laughs> Folks, we've licked it. We're done. Everybody relax. We're, we're done. We fixed it. It's over. We have solved the virus. Also, like, do you, unless you're really diligent about cleaning the filter on your hair dryer... All that's going to do is blow all kinds of dust and other mm, debris mm, into your respiratory mm, system. Mm. Um, Commissioner Culpepper, can I call you Bryant? Bryant, um, I would like to introduce you to something that you may not have considered. It's called the bloodstream. Um, you see, that's where the virus goes. And it travels all through your body via the bloodstream. I don't know how to get a blow dryer into my bloodstream. Please don't figure it out either. I don't, I don't. That's do a it. bad quarantine project. Oh, wait, I know how to, I, well, I've got a solution for this too. Um, you know, you have those machines that, uh, that pump your blood dialysis? out. Yeah. Let's do that only in the middle of the dialysis machine. Just boil it. Let's boil it. Let's spoil the blood. On the way out of your body, and then it's coming back in. You've killed the virus. We're solved. Alternately, if you just spend like three hours in a hot tub. Oh, yeah. Well, there there you go. That's it. You, you boil yourself. Yeah. And the problem is solved. We're, we're okay. I hear a lethal dose of nerve agent works. You worry me sometimes, baby. <laughs> um... I think I, I think I'm saying this right, but it's an important word that we all need to load to to know. Uh, cacistocracy. I think I'm saying that one right. Um, 
It's uh like K E K. No, uh, oh. it, it's a uh, it, it's. Am I saying it right, guys? Someone will know what this word is. It, it's um, you know how like ol- oligarchy and uh, you know, it, it's a method of government. Um, techistocracy is uh, r- rule by the worst. We. Oui. Ruled by the worst people. The first comment on the story is from this guy. Oh, what? No one is holding a gun to your head to do anything you do not want to do. But for some, they don't have a lot of options. All this wonderful science you believe in, yet thousands die every day from cancer, leukemia, ALS. So why haven't they been cured with all the scientists working on them for years? Go ahead and laugh all you want and feel like fools when I'm proven right. We're all gonna die. <laughs> this is if this science was a thing. Why do we still have cancer? Partially because of the science, actually. What is this person's job again? County commissioner. Wow. Um, if you live in Okeechobee County, Florida, leave. I mean, you probably can't. Well, no, no right. you can because no, they don't give a shit. Florida didn't give a fuck. Go yeah. to the beach. Yeah, go have a party. Flee while you can. Seek refuge in sane countries. Like, and this is this is terrifying. You know it's a sane country right now? Germany? Cuba. Hmm. That's closer to Florida than Germany. They're, Cuba is actively sending out their doctors and shit, you know, to, to like, they're doing the stuff we used to do. Yeah. Anyway. This is like if The Sand was written by Bill and Ted. Yeah. Yeah without the help of all those historical figures in George Carlin? Well, around the world, in other countries, we have places where, like, don't go out. And if you go out, we will stop you from going out because we want this to be over with. We're trying to stop this. So, um, don't go out. Well, there's always that guy who thinks, no. They don't mean me. I'm, I'm, it's, I'm That's special. For everybody else. Let's start with Taiwan. And I, I do mean, let's start with Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan quarantine skipper handed hefty fine for clubbing. Was the club hopping? Man in Taiwan had an expensive night out after he was fined thirty three thousand U S dollars because he skipped he skipped quarantine to go clubbing. Uh, he was supposed to be doing a fourteen day mandatory self isolation at home after returning from Southeast Asia. He was caught partying in Taipei during a routine police check at a nightclub on Sunday. Authorities slapped him with the mass- maximum possible fine because his night out was deemed malicious. Yeah. yeah. Um cuz you might be contagious as fuck. Yeah, see, other countries are k- trying to keep track of people who have been exposed even if they can't test them. Um they're trying to keep track of people who have potentially been exposed and they're monitoring their movements and they're keeping them quarantined. That's what that a doesn't qu- sound like freedom to me. <laughs> what a quarantine is. You can't go where you want to or yeah. do what you want to until you stop being contagious, potentially. Yeah, that is the general idea. But my freedom. You, you, you know, you know, you'll be free when you're dead. I'll put you it that way. You shouldn't go to the fucking club. No. No. I'm glad they're not. I love how Taiwan's on. Taiwan's not playing around. They've been Taiwan has been one of those countries very strict about this because they are very reliant on their industry and exports. They make currently they make quite most. If you have a computer, most of that's coming from Taiwan lately. They make most of the shit in your house. Yeah. Um. 
and they would like to continue making most of the shit in your house. They like money. My list is extra bad tonight because I bit my tongue eating dinner. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Ah, ah. It's all red. Okay, Shakira. So my list is like extra bad because my tongue's kind of swollen. Sorry. <sighs> But wait, if you think going to the club is a bad reason to break quarantine, let's go to Italy, one of the countries that has one of the worst death tolls. Yeah. As a result of the of the uh, human malware. Um, clubbing, I'll see your clubbing and raise you Pokemon. Oh, come on. I have to hunt the Pokemon. The game is like a billion years old. Haven't you caught them all by now? There are new ones. There are always new ones, Tara. They keep making new ones. Oh. How many Pokemon are there now? Someone in the channel will tell you down to the exact number, and then they'll start talking about the Pokedex and how they, they, they stopped adding everything into the new games, and it became a controversy, and there was... It was... Pokemon serious business, yo. Um, Did I start some shit? Oh, yeah. Somewhere around 900. Um, quote, I have to hunt the, hunt the Pokemon. Apparently wasn't enough to convince Italian police that a 31-year-old man should be allowed to stay out on Italy streets during a countrywide lockdown. I'm going to report the Italian newspaper Lego. Um, no relation. The man was with his daughter in San Ferno. Uh, Ferno? Or Fermo? San Fermo, sorry. I need my reading glasses. No, no, literally. I actually, I need reading glasses. Because, um, small town in northern Italy when he encountered one of the uh, Italian police. Uh, when asked why he was flouting the country's current lockdown rules, he told them, quote, I have to hunt the parking lot. I mean, the parking lot. <laughs> I told... I have to hunt the Pokemon. Look at me, old freaking man here. Um, that was apparently not enough to excuse his actions. He was charged. Italy's because gone. you, in fact, do not have to hunt the Pokemon. You do not have to hunt the Pokemon. You just, you don't. It's, it's, you know what's going to be there when you come back? The Pokemon. I have a feeling even if none of us make it, the Pokemon will endure. Yeah. You're, you're, you're 31. You're 31 years old, and you're looking for the po- I'm pretty sure that if you're breaking a nationwide quarantine to hunt Pokemon, and you're 31 years old, I'm pretty sure for the rest of your life, you're going to have nothing but time to find Pokemon. Yeah. Nothing else is going to take up your time. Well, yeah, but you're not going to be able to go anywhere. <laughs> And it's not the 31 hunting Pokemon that's the problem. Mm -hmm. It's the 31 and didn't have the cognitive reasoning to realize maybe hunting Pokemon during the fucking quarantine right. was not the best idea. Yeah, because th there's nothing wrong with being an adult and enjoying kids stuff. It's fun. But uh, time and a place. Perspective. <laughs> to have your brain go, you know what? There's nobody else out there, so it'll be easy to get the Pokemon. This is I a mean, good unless plan. You're, unless you're hunting Corona Chew. <laughs> he kind of was, actually. Kind of. You kind of was. Caught it. You might have caught them all. You'll find out in about, oh, seven days, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But wait, if you think that was a bad reason to violate quarantine, <laughs> it gets worse. We've got video! Here we go. Um, a man flouted uh, Spain's quarantine rules by taking out the rubbish while dressed as a dinosaur. Please stop the man who was wearing a Tyrannosaurus Rex costume. Gave him a warning as he waddled away from a street side bin where he had just <clears throat> dumped a bag. This is our incident in Vistabella, Mercia, happened days after a government imposed lockdown to stop the spread of the virus. Um, 
Well, here's a question. Yeah. Are those T-Rex suits like hazmat level? No, they are not. They um, are. They are. In fact we not. might have just solved the medical equipment shortage in the most amazing way. I do. I, I love. Can you the... even imagine if all the hospitals were entirely staffed by people in those T Rex outfits? I love the look. The look of this cop talking to the dude in the T Rex costume. Like, uh, sir. <laughs> dude, really. And sir. that's probably why he's in it. Is he figures I'm totally covered. I'm safe. Sir, did you know how stupid you were going? <laughs> no, you see, I'm completely covered. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fucking virus proof. G given enough time, I might end up doing this. Well, we don't have one of those. I'll find one. Oh, okay, but sure, we do have Amazon. No, we don't. Didn't you realize Amazon's uh, backed up 30 days? Yeah, true. I don't think the T-Rex outfit is essential. Nope. <laughs> nope. So, uh, yeah, it, if you're watching this, it is currently March 24th, 23rd. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, that means anyone who orders something today from Amazon Prime won't get it for a month. I think it depends on where you live, because near us, it's actually been pretty quick. Mm. We're not backed up more than, like, I think, like, five days. Knock on wood. I know if you want booze, that's a whole other story. Oh, yeah, it, it was, yeah. I mean, they did have, there was one museum. They tried to, you know, the, the aquarium that it's letting the penguins walk around yeah. while they're closed. Someone in, like, a museum that's known for their big T-Rex skeleton. The Fields like, Museum. Well, yes, I saw closed, that. We decided to let the T-Rex out, and they had someone running around in that outfit. So, like, this is also bringing out some hilarity. Like Neil Diamond singing, hands washing hands. Don't touch me, I won't touch you. But not every stupid thing happening lately is about the uh, the outbreak. Um, there is, of course, just most of them, just most of them, because it's the most prominent stupidity. But wait, there's there's other stupidity too, like um, Florida man arrested for impersonating an officer just days after going to jail for impersonating an officer. Flagler County, Florida. A man in Flagler County was arrested for impersonating an officer just two days after going to jail for the same thing. Uh, Flagler County Sheriff's Office said that Leroy Stottlemyre... Really? Leroy Stottlemyre? Well, given the spelling, I think it's actually Leroy. Leroy? Leroy? Because it's a capital R. That's a Leroy. I'm going to call him a Leroy. I'm sorry. I'm going to call him Leroy. This is America. That's Leroy. Uh, was arrested on March 9th for impersonating a law enforcement officer and shoplifting. Following this, law enforcement went on to you speak... You know, cops don't get to shoplift either. No. Uh, went on to speak with several toll bridge attendants who had previous encounters with Stottlemyre. They say he would try to flash a badge to avoid paying a $2 bridge toll. He reportedly did this several times over the last few months and identifies himself as a U.S. Air Marshal. During his last encounter at the toll bridge, they said the attendant presented Sotomayor with an article about his arrest on March 9th for impersonating a law enforcement officer. Sotomayor then put away his badge, paid the toll. However, on March 13th, deputies say they once again arrested him in his home. Guys, yeah, clearly not learned any. This last time has no the respect. receipts. <laughs> they had the receipt. <laughs> they were like, "No, bitch, not this time. Give me my two dollars." Okay, let's let's break this down because there's a lot going on here. Um, to start with, you are violating the law. For, this isn't just like blowing through the toll booth. No, no, you have a fake badge and a persona. Okay, you have a character sheet. <laughs> 
in order to avoid paying two U.S. dollars. Yeah. Two dollars. You cannot pay. You are, you are driving a car. Dude, it costs. That's one dollar. That's one gallon of gas. I know you have the money because you're driving the car. Like, sometimes that's like half a gallon of gas. You're you're driving the car. You have money to drive the car, but you don't got two dollars for the toll. Who are you, Boeing? Alternately, he's just an asshole. Yeah, also that. Um, but I love how he was. He got he busted for trying to to pull the scam to get out of shoplifting. Was where this started off. Not understanding that police don't get to take stuff in the store no. for free. That's, and the chat is like, well, civil asset forfeiture. No. No, that's that's not shoplifting. That's different. I know you're a cool little anarchist, but no. No, see, the civil forfeiture is they can take that from private citizens. They can't take stuff from Target. Target right. is 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 a corporation, and therefore it's more important than you or I. Exactly. Right. America. It's America, right? Um. So it's it's just it. I don't think this guy has learned his lesson. I don't think so either. Oh my god. It just an or, air a US Air Marshal. Where did that come from? Or like he is possessed by the ghost of a US Air Marshal and really thinks what he's saying is true. And they just need to call the Winchesters. Terry, you're plotting out a Rob Schneider comedy. No, I'm plotting out an episode of Supernatural. There's a difference. No, I saw this movie. It was Steve Martin. It's called All of Me. Steve Martin, Lily Tomlin. Only it wasn't an air marshal, but uh, that, that's only a good reboot. We'll use an air marshal in the reboot. It's, people out there are like, who is Steve Martin? Oh, bless your heart. He's that guy that was playing banjo on Twitter two days ago. Yeah. Steve Martin is a famous banjo player. Before he played banjo, he was a comedian. Um, yeah. <sighs> well, we got away from the terribleness. No, we didn't. It comes back at the end. It's come back around. No one can escape it. So, um, we have we have a, a something that, that comes up quite a bit on the show, compounding the error when you do something very terrible and then. In order to try and make that terrible thing go away, you do something even worse. And of course, it's Florida again. There's, there's a lot of, it's Florida keeps us going. Florida is the fuel by which this this mighty engine turns. America's Lang. Felony rap for coughing in face of paramedic. Florida woman 38 shouted, I have the human malware. It would be great if she did actually shout that. True. Yeah, that was because then we get demonetized in real life. Um, a woman. <laughs> fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you, YouTube. A woman arrested YouTube, for you, YouTube. Woman arrested for assaulting her boyfriend shouted, quote, I have the virus before oh, the SIVA. I can't say it because YouTube will demonetize. I'm going to have to go back. In fact, I think I let one slip through last week. I the think episode, I did too. The episode got demonetized. Really? Yeah. I don't know if C2 counts. Yeah. Um, before intentionally coughing in the face of a paramedic who she sprayed with, quote, copious amounts of saliva. Even without a malware problem, that's gross. Yeah. Responding, that's not okay. Responding early Wednesday to a domestic violence call in Lady Lake, an Orlando suburb, Police encountered the bloodied victim, the man whose nose was broken, told officers that he had been attacked by his girlfriend, LaDonald Shacky Holmes, uh, the man who was uh, lying in bed with Holmes, 38, uh, when she, quote, told the victim she wanted to have sex. The victim recalled that he declined to engage with Holmes, that she is leaving him to get back with her ex-husband. So this is terrible all the way down. <laughs> this is just a whole mess. Rebuffed, Holmes became very agitated, at which time she, quote, 
Roundhouse kicked the victim in the nose and then punched him in the nose. That resulted in the victim's nose breaking. The victim then yeah, started what? bleeding. Um... When officers responded to the residence, Holmes was arrested for battering her boyfriend. As cops tried to get her into a squad car, Holmes, quote, kept falling to the ground, prompted him to summon EMS workers, since it was unclear whether, quote, she was having a medical episode. After paramedics sought to evaluate Holmes, she became phys physically combative. After an EMS worker sedated the arrestee, Holmes was being placed on a stretcher when she shouted, quote, I have the coronavirus. Um... Holmes then allegedly coughed directly in the face of an EMS worker, which resulted in copious amounts of saliva landing on paramedic's face. So, That's not okay. That's not okay. So many things you fucked up with here. Um, if she's already told you she's leaving her to get back with her ex-husband, why are you in bed with her in the first place? I know, right? Relationships are stupid. But to be you able to go back then. Yeah, to be able to say, um, no, I'm, I, you're leaving, we're not fucking, and yeah, to get mad. That's reasonable. That's, that's a reasonable reply. Get mad about that? Really? But then to go all Jean-Claude Van Damme on a dude, because, not because he's doing, because he won't have the sex. Right. Because you're leaving him. Even if that wasn't part of it, because he won't have sex with you, is not a reason to kick anybody in the face. There it's are, not. surprisingly, in life, not always, but there are good reasons to kick someone in the face. I mean, rarely. Rarely, but there are. This is not one of them. This is never one of this them. This is not one of them. Um, getting turned down for Nookie, not on the list of approved face-kicking activities. Um, no. But then, just... To compound it to the point where you were, you were now the EMS worker. See what they, when this shit happens, they can't just go, oh, she was, it's not real. She's right. Like, no, 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 they no, have no. To act as though that's true. So now this EMS worker who was just doing his job because you were faking ill to avoid getting arrested or doing something you should be arrested Which for. Also isn't going to work, by the way. No, you're, you're still getting arrested. Um, now, because you would, he was doing his job. Now he's got to deal with this. You've, it might not be much, but you have taken one healthcare worker out of yeah. rotation at a vital time just because you were an asshole. Yep. I, we are facing a crisis that requires us to not be assholes in a way we have not been not assholes for generations. Yeah. We have cultivated being tremendous pricks. Like over the, the past bare minimum that we are being asked to do right now mm -hmm. is fucking binge Netflix and not be a dick. And we can't do it. And the number of people that cannot manage that it's very upsetting. It's, you know, I, I blame the boomers. Because they were the ones who sort of set us on the asshole course. Like, maybe we should just let the Pokemon have this planet. They would do better with it, honestly. Yeah. Even though there are some really creepy Pokemon. There's, I know, like, three. There's I can name, like, three Pokemon. <laughs> there's, there, there's a little... There, there's like, a, I think I'm not sure if it's a dog or a bear, but it's like a cub that wears its mother's skull on its head. Well, that's dark. Pokemon is not it. It's not shit gets dark. They, they, they is don't. This a children's game? Yeah, ostensibly, people in the channel know it by name. Yeah, there are Pokemon that fly away with children. Yeah. There are ghost Pokemon, which I don't understand how that works, because in order for there to be a ghost, someone has to die. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, that, I guess the first thing we learned this week is... Um, Pokemon are fucked up? <laughs> well, that's, that's among the things, but the first thing we learned this week is um, 
we are incapable. We have an asshole problem. We have a serious asshole problem, the likes of which we've not seen for a long time. And this is not one of those back in my day. No, this is before my day. All right. Yeah. You we remember, just can't not be the worst. Like, you remember shit from like the, like World War II and people who would actively they were they they were like distraught because they were rejected for the draft. They could not serve, so they were just like it, it, it wounded them mentally. You mean like the entire basis of Steve Rogers? Yeah. That was a real thing. No, you get get four yeah. F that, that whole four F thing. That that yeah. Well, if you weren't healthy enough, that that entire concept we've lost. That's gone. That's gone. That's over. Dan We're originally wanted to be military police, but he was too short to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> that that's true. That is true. <laughs> There's apparently a height requirement. Yep. You have to be at least five nine, nine five six. So too short to be a stormtrooper. Um. We've learned that uh, maybe stop doing the thing you just got arrested for. Yeah, maybe just take a week off. Also, wait till your trial or something. Also, I didn't know people pull out the receipts in real life, but they do. That's kind of cool. That is great. I hope every toll operator in the county has one of those printed out. We've learned reasons for breaking good reasons for breaking quarantine do not include going out to the club. Catching Pokemon and wearing a dinosaur costume because why not? Because fuck it. I think people assume that anything you do wearing a dinosaur costume is immediately okay. But that's not true. That's not true. And, and finally, we've learned um, uh, some very, very stupid people have a lot of responsibility and authority. Yeah. Actually, we haven't just learned that. This is just no, a remedial. This is remedial. We've been known that. This we're going for we the just keep getting reminded. This this is our this is our master's thesis in oh god, we're all going to die. Yep, except this time it's kind of literal. Stay inside. You know, all these years we've just been doing this thing. Mm. We are now like providing an essential service. Yeah, we're 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 actually calling bullshit where it needs to be called. Well, and we're like entertaining people when they're trapped in their homes. We're like Stephen Colbert doing his monologue from his bathtub. I might do this next week from my bathtub. The, the only thing you're going to accomplish by shoving a blow dryer up your nose is you're going to bake your brain. And not in the fun and, way. And burn the shit out of your nose. And singe all your nose hairs. And You have a lot of nerve endings here. A lot. A lot. Look, listen, if you live in Okeechobee, run. I'm just saying. <laughs> you are not safe. You are not protected. It is, it is not Okie Doki and Okie Joby. Did I really just do that? <laughs> oh, shit. We're all gonna die. 